Hey everyone, so I want to thank SO Wigs for sending me a wig today for my personal review. This is what the packaging looks like that it comes in. A nice, really pretty pink bag. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. Alright, so it does come with the wig as well as a little information card. And on the back it tells you how to take care of your wig. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the wig out of the little bag right here. This is really neat because you can restore your, your wig in here when you're not using it, so that's pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you what the wig looks like straight out of the packet. Oh, I love the pattern. Oh, I love this pattern. I love that. Oh man, that's pretty. That's super pretty. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like straight out of the package. Soup, I'm in love with this already. This is so pretty. I love the length of it because to me, I feel like shorter hair just looks better on me, like shoulder length hair. But this is what it looks like. All right, there's the front lace part. It looked like they made a few little baby hairs in the front. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside right here. It does have a comb at the top, two combs on the side here. It has a comb at the base, and it also has the adjustable straps at the base. So that is what the inside of the wig is looking like. Now it is good to wash your wig and let it air dry before you put it on, but I just want to know how it looks straight out of the box if I were to put it like right on. And plus I do have a lunch date, so I am kind of in a hurry. So I just want to um, see what it looks like straight out of the packaging. I'm just pulling it down, making sure it's secure in the back. You can also wear a wig grip like if you don't like using the combs because a lot of people don't like using those so you can also use a wig grip to keep it secure okay so this is what it looks like up close All right, I'm gonna just spray a little water on here. All right, now that I have the lace cut, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it on again just to see what it looks like. I think I'm gonna take my wig cap off underneath. If I were to leave the baby hairs that they that came with the wig, but I don't know if I want to do that because I don't do the best with baby hairs. I don't want to put apart. I just kind of wanted to like swoop over to the side like this. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this even lace glue right here. I know a lot of people use the gots to be glue, but until I get used to that, because I tried to use it previously and I didn't like it until I get used to it. So this is what this looks like. I have tried it before and um, 
you can use soap and water or shampoo and water and it'll come like literally right off as you can see I still have my edges because I did this um, on a previous wig video so I just like to put it like right in front of my hairline then I'm gonna get the blow dryer to help it get tacky quicker Okay, so now I am gonna use a little bit of the Gots to Be once since I've got the wig settled, like little pieces that I see lifting in the front, and then I'm gonna tie it down. All right, it's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the scarf off. This is what it's looking like. This side did pretty good. This is my second time applying a lace wig, so I'm still a beginner. Ooh. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some mousse on the hair. All right, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna turn around the back where you can see as well. I think I might need to cut this a little shorter right here. Just a little bit. Yeah. I think this looks good like this without the baby hairs. Just kind of just natural hairline. 